Hi lovely artists, I miss you all in the studio. We, it's been so quiet here without you. Today we're going to be painting some Anzac Day poppies because uh, on Monday it was Anzac Day as you remember um, and I missed being able to do this with you last week so we're going to do it today. You're going to need your size 12 brush, you're also going to need white paint, yellow paint, red paint, blue paint and black. It doesn't matter what, what colours of these you have, um, just whatever you can get will be fine. Um, I'm also using our trusty cardboard um, that we use in class. I've also got my apron on and an 8x10 canvas. Um, so let's get painting shall we? First of all, we're going to start drawing our poppy. I've got our paints set out, black, red, blue, yellow, and white. And because this paint white one palette is nice and big, I like to set them up on the outside of my palette. This way I've got all this room here to mix my colors. First of all, on our, on our canvas, we're gonna take our pencil and we're going to gently draw in three poppies. So we're going to do a centre poppy, starting with the circle. We're going to put a circle for the centre of our second poppy. And another circle for the centre of our third poppy. Once we've done these three main poppies, You'll be able to add in as many as you like. Starting with our centre one, we're going to do some butterfly wings. We're going to make four butterfly wings working around. And again, the same four as we go to each of the poppies, making sure your petals are nice and overlapped. This is just our guide. You may want to overlap your flowers as well. Then we're going to pick up our size 12 brush again and we're going to get some red paint on our brush and around and we're going to wiggle our brush around to give it the look of petals. Now you may notice I'm not doing the background on this one. That's because I want to leave the background nice and white. Because I want this I want the poppies to be the main focus of my pet of my piece. And don't worry if you make more petals than what you drew on. That's just our guide. None of these need to be perfect because our flowers in nature don't have solid edges either. Then we need to wash off our brush and 
wipe off our brush on a piece of paper towel or a painting cloth. This is where it gets a bit tricky. So you know I like tricky stuff in class. We're going to get some red and a little tiny bit of black. Can you see that? And we're going to mix that into our red to make it a little bit darker. And we're going to put that in the center of our flowers. So this is the first layer in what will become a very pretty poppy. And again, just brush it on, just patting it into the middle there. There's no need to be perfect about it. We just want it as our undercolor. From here, we're going to spread out our black paint a bit, wash our cloth off, and use the back end of our brush. We're going to dip it in our paint and use it like we used our cotton buds to do lots and lots of dots around the middle of our poppy. and then filling in the center as well. So these dots will be all different sizes depending on how much paint is on your, the end of your brush. And I'm not dipping at every single brush as you can tell. I'm only dipping every few, every few dots, leaving spaces between them. And we're going to move on and do that to each of our poppies. Now, without washing off the end of your brush, I'm now going to dip in to the yellow. And you'll notice that you've got kind of a mix of black and yellow, and I'm going to use that to go into the middles of those flowers again. Filling up that center. And again, going back with the black and just working on them until you think that they're perfect, until they meet your requirements. Again, these don't have to be perfect. It's whatever is perfect in your mind. These are your creations. I'm 
muslins, we've got some black and some yellow in the centre of those poppies. Then we're going to wipe off our brush just in a corner so that because it's going to get quite dirty as you can see. We're going to take our brush back again and we're going to this time mix some white with the red to create a lighter red. And we're going to put that around some of our petals where we think the sun might be. Whoop. If you make a mistake like I just did, rinse your brush off with a wet brush, wipe over it and wipe it off on your cloth. And then just fix that area up. But do try to be careful of that middle part. Next we're going to get some black and we're going to just dab it on. Not too much. Wiping our brushes off. We're just going to blend the black in to make some shadows on and then coming back in with the red and the white. Now you met you probably need to leave this to dry. If you've got lots of paint on it like I do in the middle. So that we can come back and add in our petal details. And we're going to do that across all of them. So not too much, just a small amount, just to give those petals some depth. While the flowers are drying, we're going to work on our stems and our leaves. So we're going to make some green. So we're going to take some yellow and some green, about equal mix. We're going to mix those two together. And then using the so we've been using our paintbrush flat. We're now going to change it so that it's on its side like this. And we're going to do some stems coming from our poppies. We can also add some white to lighten this up. And do some leaves and such down the bottom. Adds a bit more yellow to create another yellow colour. You'll notice I'm doing all of this with the side of my brush. So 
So play around with your greens. Don't be shy by adding yellows, whites, even black, you can create whatever green you like. And don't forget to add in different heights of your leaves. This is our poppy field down here that they're creating. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our smaller brush. I did forget to tell you guys to get a small brush. If you've got one, we're going to gently mark in our flower petals, give them some definition. So that they don't just look like some red, red blobs on our page. So what we're doing here is we're drawing with our paintbrush. And you'll notice I'm holding it quite to the top of my tip and I'm using it very, very loosely to get those nice loose lines. So we just want around a bit the center just bring them out into the into the flowers a bit more make them a bit more organic a bit messier and this will also help to mix those colors up a bit but not too much we still want to be able to see that yellow we just don't want those peaks of color and then using that, we're just going to draw in on the side of our stalks. To create a shadow. And then picking up some white, we're going to do some white on the other side. So it looks like the sun. It's just giving them a bit of a hint of white. And we're going to do the same on the leaf, on the on the on the petals. Just going to make them look like they're just that little bit that's shiny. Want to, you can add some highlights to your poppies into the center of your poppies. going to do some touch-ups with my red. I'm not real happy with the red on this one so I'm just going to add in some more red. Doesn't matter if you do it a little bit thick because you guys are at home so you don't have to take your painting anywhere. You just have to find a nice sunny spot for it to dry or if it's drying inside find a flat shelf. where it won't get knocked by your cats or your dogs if you've got them. Oh, I need 
need some more red. Again, I'm not happy with the amount of color I put in here. So I'm just going to use my brush, wipe it off, wipe it onto the palette. Pop the brush back in some water. And then fix it up the way I want it to be. these ones it probably needs to be a bit of black not too much just to create a shadow and then I'm going to come back in more with the red a bit more so what we what we've been doing is we've been layering our paint to create a multitude of different colors but still in that red and green spectrum. And because this is Anzac Day, I'm going to write down the bottom, lest we forget. I'm going to do it in running writing because that's my favorite style of writing. But you can print it, you can do your cursive, whichever you feel more comfortable doing. And there we have it, our beautiful poppy picture that we can bring out at Anzac Day, Remembrance Day in November, and we've got something special we can put up to remember our family members who may have fought in the war, our grandfathers, great-grandfathers, great-grandmas even who might have fought in any war that Australia has been in, or even our uncles and aunties that are fighting overseas at the moment. I hope you enjoyed um, joining me today in painting our beautiful poppies. Um, just a reminder that if you need any art supplies whatsoever, get your parents to message me and I will sort out a box to be sent out to you for $20 each week um, with whatever it is you need. Um, I'll also be doing a video shortly of the different brands that I use um, and where you can get them um, with their pricing as well. Look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!